So good morning. Today is my grand entry into the video world, whereby uh, I'm going to be just rambling on about life. Hopefully, some will make some sense. Other times, it won't. There will be times of elation. There will be times of despair, desperation, despondency. I just realized I named three negatives and one positive. So, hopefully I'll bring some joy, but I'm going to bring reality. Why? You know, oftentimes we have a drive to contribute something in this world, whether it's constructive or destructive. You'll come to find out that uh, I, don't, I don't mince words when I say certain things. However, some of it's going to be true. I'm doing this inside of my wonderful apartment. There is no... There's no set designs, and there's no fancy music, there's no fancy editing for work on a computer. Although there may be, I may do some stuff. But, but right now, I'm just going to be talking. Uh, just getting some things off my mind. Uh, you know, my motivation is, is like most people, um, they have something to share. Mine today is, well, I found out I have cancer. Uh, I found out that the fact that um, that my cancer has progressed so much that they want to do this uh, surgery, this immediate surgery. I'm not happy about it. My family has been certainly cursed by this cancer thing. Um, no one has really pretty much survived, and my father right now is in the hospital. Well, no, he's at home now. However, he was in the hospital for about two the two months um, trying to um, recoup what's left of his life. He's in stage four of prostate cancer. And so I always tell people, the funny thing is, that I'm not going to die from a heart attack. I'm going to be annihilated by the, the six-letter C word that starts with a C and ends with an R. Why me? Well, why not me? And so, you know, this thing has been fast. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's come on, this knowledge of it has come on really fast. Why? Because my father in, was in the hospital. He's had this, he's been fighting with this for years. And uh, November, I decided I was going to get, you know, some tests done. And, um, you know, they came back with it that, Oh, I have to come back to the hospital and uh, get a retest, get reconfirmed, and then once it's been confirmed, then it was like the next thing to do is to do a biopsy, and that was very, no, oh, intrusive. I didn't like it at all. Two women was doing it. It was cute women. They were fine women too. It's like I'm sitting in this on this table. I'm laying on this table, and my my body and my butt is being exposed to these wonderful ladies. I wonder what they must be saying. They have to deal with, it's almost like they have to deal with assholes every day. Excuse the pun, but they did that. Anyway, they did the test, came back, was positive, talked to the doctor about a week ago. You know, he gives me this very disturbing news that there's no portion of my prostate that doesn't have a disease. It's all disease. It's all messed up. It's progressed. It's, it's, it's urgency is, is treatment, get this thing out of it, I have cancer, wow, you know, when you hear that, it's like, your whole life does flash, you know, I go have to, after 50-50, the movie that came out with Joseph Lever, Levis Ford, you know, it's like, wow, or is it Joseph Gordon Levis, I don't know who it is, but anyway, he found out he had this rare form of cancer in his whole life just flashed. So, anyway, so you'll hear me now talk about this cancer, how much it disturbs me, how much it, I, I hope for life, uh, quality of life. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be. Of course, prostate cancer is a slow progressing, but they want to do surgery really quick, and it's going to be done two days after my birthday. This is how urgent it has to happen. So my birthday is June 5th. I'm going to have to stay June 7th. Um, it's just the way it is. I hate it. 
you know, it seemed like life has just been on an accelerating thing with me for a while, and, and I'm at this stage in my life that I'm, I'm, I'm young, I have a lot of things going for me. I took a leave of absence because so many things were happening, but that would be another segment, I would tell you. So, anyway, for those of you who have family members um, struck with cancer, I empathize. But for those of you who have cancer, I truly empathize. You know, there are survivors in it. Um, and certainly I won't take away from that. Unfortunately, no one in my family has survived uh, any form of cancer. I don't know why, but no one survived it. So, it seems as though that this is definitely the curse for my family. Well, these are going to be short. These are going to be really short. So, I'm not going to get into it long, but uh, that's my introduction into the video world, the contribution to YouTube, the contribution to the world. <sighs> my name is Charles, and this is my life.